So today we're going to look at how you can scale your clips, how you can move them around, and how you could do things like um, flip them. So these are some of our basic transformations. So here's a result of one clip that has been flipped horizontally to give a mirroring effect. And then over here, I have an example of just of two separate clips that have both, both been made small so that they can play side by side simultaneously. All right, so let's go through these steps. So I'm going to just scoot down my timeline here so I can start over. So what I'm going to have you do is put the two clips that I've given you, or you can use your own clips, on top of each other. So first I'm going to go over to my project pane and I have the one uh, People Street. I'm going to put that on track V2. And then my other one is called People Subway and I'm going to put that on V1 and put my scrubber right here. Okay, so because uh, People Street, this clip here, is taking up the full size of my screen and it's on top of People Subway, I can't see People Subway. But it's there. If I turn this off, I can see that it's actually there. So what I want to do is I want to make both of them small and then I can put them side by side. So I'm going to start with the top clip since that's the one obscuring the bottom and I want to make sure it's selected here in my timeline and then I'm going to go over to my effects control panel. And let's just close this up a little bit here so it looks like the way that you would see it. Okay, so I want to open up where it says FX Motion. Click on that little arrow there and then you're going to see the position and the scale. So first thing I want to do is I want to scale it smaller. So over here if I hover where it says 100, I'm not clicking. If I hover, I get the finger with the double arrow. And so once I see that, if I click with the mouse, I can scrub to the left. I'm just pulling it and it's making it smaller. If you just click into it, it becomes an editable field and instead then you have to like put in your numbers. So I much prefer the hover method. So I just hover, I get that, then I clicking and holding down the mouse and I can scrub and make it a different size. So once you have started to edit it, you could continue to move it through the position option over here. So this is the X axis and this is the Y, so meaning this is horizontal and this is vertical. So I want to move it over, so I'm going to target this one over here and I'm going to move it over. I also can actually just do it right here in my monitor window. So I'm going to click on this and I could move it over and as it's still an active selection with those anchor points, I actually could even resize it here. All right, so if I want the two clips to be the exact size, I should probably make a note of how I've scaled it or maybe scale it like I'm going to just put in scale of 50 so that way it's an easy number and then I can do the same thing with the second clip. So I'm going to click on People Subway and go up to my effects control panel and go to where it says scale and hover and scale it down to 50 or I can just put the number in myself. And now I can either move it with my position controls or double click the clip here and then drag it out. And you can put them however you would want and you could also continue to scale them. And notice how I did just grab my second clip I didn't have to go back to the timeline. So once they are smaller and it's easy to grab them, then you can just go back and forth between them and you can click and move them around. Oops, I didn't mean to actually take that. That was my center point. All right, so that's all there is to just being able to position and scale your clips. And now I could um, add more of them. And just the trick would be, I would keep putting them on the tracks on top of each other right here. So they'd always go right on top of each other in the timeline, those tracks. They're not going to go side by side or else they wouldn't show up at the same time. Okay, so that's all for this video of scaling down and positioning your clips. In the next one, I'll do some more on transformations.